Want to drill accurate holes using nothing but a simple hand drill? Perfectly perpendicular and exactly in the right position? Let me show you how I did it. I'm EK and you're watching Dynamic Systems. I outsourced some parts for my CNC project, but the machining cost skyrocketed. So I asked myself, which features can I remove to reduce machining cost and finish them later myself? Almost every part had multiple threaded and non-threaded holes, but none required tight tolerances. So I removed all of them from the drawings and planned to drill them myself after manufacturing. I even thought, great, I used the money I saved to buy a drill press. Sounds like a great deal, doesn't it? Yes, but not yet. When I received the parts, I marked the holes with a caliper and a punch, placed the part under the drill press and started drilling. The results? Terrible. Yes, the holes were perpendicular, but they were not in the correct position. Why? A simple punch cannot guarantee the exact drill position unless the part is already fixed in place. Without a cross table or a vise, every single hole ends up with a different offset. In the end, the accumulated error can exceed the tolerance you intended. To guide the drill bit precisely, machinists use something called a drill bushing, a hardened highly accurate sleeve that keeps the drill exactly aligned. So all I needed to do was design and build a jig using noun references from machined parts to hold the bushing in the correct position. You may think this is a chunk of steel, and you're relatively right. But in fact, these are two separate parts with very precise clean ground surfaces. They have been cut out of a single piece of steel sheet using a water jet cutter before being ground. The only thing missing is two M10 threaded holes and two M10 clearance holes. I used the original CAD model from the CNC machine and designed the jig directly around it. For the prototype, I printed the part in PLA. Do not use ABS or high shrinkage materials that have warping issues. The dimensional accuracy matters here. My first prototype didn't have a proper structure, but survived for one-time use thanks to the infill. But for a reusable jig, you must include ribs, walls, and bracing. Here is an example of a right angle support I made a year ago for tapping still works perfectly. To reduce deformation, choose an orientation where forces don't pull the layers apart. Use a 0.2 mm layer height or less. Add support for clean circular holes. Use adequate infill but don't rely on infill strength. Once printed, simply press fit the bushing into the jig. After clamping the jig onto the workpiece using two clamps, I placed the assembly under the drill press. The drill bit centers itself automatically and stays aligned throughout the cut. I first used a 4.2 mm bit to check alignment and reduce load. The final diameter was 8.5 mm and my drill press isn't rigid enough to start with that size. Also, when the bit gets stuck, the part may start spinning. I can grab it because I'm used to it, but you definitely shouldn't do it. It's so dangerous. After reaching the final size, we show how civilized we are by using a chamfer bit. Then I use another printed jig for tapping M10 threads in CK45 steel. It took some sweat, but look at the result. This method could be used in various conditions, like angled holes, cylindrical surfaces, or when the subject doesn't provide access for a drill press anyway. Basically, whenever you need accuracy without expensive equipment.
Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.